Montana woman thought she found a way to make some extra money on the side, but what she actually found was a scam. Thankfully, she caught what was going on before it was too late. In this week's Fraud Watch, the woman shares her story with MTN's Jacob Ferrer as the cautionary tale for others. When Samara Pennart checked her phone one day, there was a text message from a local number. It offered her something that, as a part-time Uber driver, she found enticing. Budweiser, she thought, was offering a free car wrap, essentially a mobile advertisement that Pennarts could use to supplement her income. I have seen breweries um, around town have car wraps. I've seen beer companies. Again, nothing, no red flags, no concerns. Wanting to learn more, she sent the anonymous number, her name, and mailing address. A while later, a letter arrived at the mailbox. There was no foreign stamps or anything that would set off any bells or whistles, any concern. Inside the envelope, a cashier's check and a letter. The check marked for almost two grand. It looked real. The letter, however, didn't. The letter looked like something that a, a, someone would type up if they were practicing typing. She called Budweiser directly, who confirmed her suspicions. And she said, please throw it away, tear it up, it's not from us. The Office of Consumer Protection investigates scams exactly like this. Investigator Marcus Meyer even produces for me a stack of fake checks that they've collected over the years and now use to train people to spot a scam. Usually, Meyer says the scam comes after an unknowing victim deposits a fake check, and then the scammers say that it was for more than they had originally intended. The victim will deposit the check and then will be asked to wire the over amount to the to the scammer. Later, the bank determines that the check is fake and the victim loses the money that they sent. For Pennart, she's glad she spotted the warning signs before it was too late. And she encourages others to come forward to share their stories to raise awareness. And say, this happened to me. I'm a little embarrassed that I let it get as far as I did, but it, it does it does happen to all of us. In Helena, Jacob Fuhrer, MTN News. OCP says if you have questions about the authenticity of a check, take it to your bank and ask them to look at it before you cash it. All right.